Good morning. My name is Becky Wagner. This piece was written several weeks ago while I was in the midst of despair trying to figure out why I was there and find a way out. I'm happy to say that I was successful in finding both of those answers, thanks to Reverend Sean's Despair Club and some willingness to do some soul searching on my part and some hard work. I share this with you today so that you can have a brief glimpse into my process and know that there is a way through the dark night of the soul that all of us go through as we walk our journeys. When Jen initially asked me to do this chalice lighting, I immediately and tearfully said no. I just did not have the positive attitude, hope, energy, or desire to speak to regeneration right now. But I did promise to go home and think about it. And so I did. And I really did meditate on it. And my spirit guides even got into the discussion. And before long, I knew that I could do this and I even wanted to do it. My first task was to figure out where I personally am in this regeneration process because I certainly had not been feeling like I'd been renewed or rebuilding anything over the last year. Quite the contrary, it's been a year of deconstruction, of tearing down, of letting go, of digging up, of turning over, of recycling, of composting, and, well, you get the message. As I look over the landscape of my life right now, I barely recognize it. In some ways, it has been clear cut. But underneath all of that debris and rotting pieces of my life is where I have decided I am now creating new life and I'm regenerating. I have claimed my life metaphorically as a fungus. Now, initially I was turned off by this metaphor because of the surrounding in which the fungi live and do their work. But the more I ponder it, the more excited and joyous I become. I mean, think about it. The kingdom of the fungi is the one doing the work of creating new soil of turning rotting pieces of what have died into fertile ground for something new. That's just amazing. What a calling for this 75 year old pagan who will probably not live to see this new world that will grow out of the debris and the ashes of the one that is now in the process of unraveling. To have the opportunity to play a major role in creating new soil for that world to take root in and bring forth new life and become the sustainable world that we must create if we are to continue on this planet just makes my heart sing. Now I cannot deny that this regeneration process as a fungus is not lonely and even dark at times, but I consider this work to be shadow spiritual work and those characteristics sometimes go with shadow work. But there is also connecting work and joyous splashes of color and diversity work and tender reproductive work as spores and tidbits of shared pieces of love and learning are sent out into the universe to find fertile places to land and take root. What a rich and fertile landscape to be immersed in during these crone and wisdom years of this lifetime for me. I'm grateful to be alive and able to continue to contribute to the reconnecting and reconnecting, recreating that is happening and will continue to happen as the world as we have known it unravels and changes. I invite you to join in the journey of finding your metaphorical and physical place in this unraveling and regenerating and find the joy and the hope that the earth and her systems offer to us as examples. I'm in gratitude for the community where love is welcomed and supported and truth is encouraged and spoken.
Will you join me now in the words of our covenant, which begin with the word love? Love is the spirit of this church, and service is its law. This is our great covenant, to dwell together in peace, to seek the truth in love, and to help one another.